This is going to be the quickest and most simplest building reset video you can find. The only thing I want you to do is follow me step by step. Go into devices and grab these things. A button, you can place it wherever you want, you can move it later. A trigger, a sequencer, find this right here, objective device gallery. Place it somewhere, then go through them and grab this device here. You can delete all the rest of them, they don't matter. First thing I want you to do is pick a place on your map where you want your sequencer, somewhere off to the side where nobody can see it. Make sure you put it somewhere far away from the fighting area because it will mess up the build resets, I'll explain it further in the video. Put it somewhere out here, like on this sand. Now go into the sequencer settings and use these. 0.5 on length, 2 on the height, come all the way down to start sequence when receiving from, put it on channel 150. Now pick you up a trigger, make sure you got your grid snap on, I have mine to 32 and place it right here. Then go into the settings, come all the way down to times can trigger, do 1, then come down to delay, do 1 second. Then come all the way down to when trigger transmit on channel 1. Now I want you to copy this trigger, come over here to the side and place it. Go into the settings, come all the way down to enable on game start and disable it. On enabled when receiving from, put it to channel 1, then come down and when triggered, transmit on channel 2. Now what I want you to do is copy this one, bring it up one, and place it. Come over to the left one and do the same thing. Up one, place it. On this left one, I want you to go into the settings, go all the way down to enable on game start, disable it. Now I want you to go back into it, go over to channels only. Now what I'm about to show you, you're going to need to repeat for as many times as you want triggers. So what you're going to do is enable when receiving from, go over two. So that one's going to go to channel two. You go down to when trigger transmit on, go up two. So that goes to three, then press OK. Come over to the right one, go up two. So you're going to go to channel 3 on the top one, then this one's going to go to channel 4. Now I'm going to show you one more time. Copy, bring it up one, place. Come over to the right one, copy, bring it up one, place. Go into the settings, go over two channels here, go down, go over two channels there. Same thing on the left side, always up by two channels. Now what this is going to do is it's going to activate each one for the trigger before that one. Now we got six triggers ready to go, that's six times you can reset your build. Put as many of these as you want for however many times you think you may need to reset your build. Just remember, copy, place, and do both of them, then move them channels up by two, the same exact way that I did. Now just as a little helpful tip, you want to go over here into galleries, go into game, then come over here and go to indestructible gallery. Now in here you can get floors, ramps, walls, anything that you need on your map that you don't want destroyed when the builds reset. Because if you don't use these indestructible items and you go to reset the builds, it's going to destroy everything on your map. So come in here, pick you out a good wall, a good floor. I'll build a quick little platform just to show y'all. Okay, here's our base. Let's come over here and get the trigger. Let's place it right here on the side. Now let's get our objective device. We're going to take it right underneath. Set it right in the middle. Now go into the settings. Do yours just like this. Move the health over to invulnerable. Blast radius 20. Hide health bar always visible during games off if you want to play the audio from the explosion you can but i turn mine off turn collisions during games off now destroy when receiving from put this to channel one come up to your trigger go into the settings come all the way down reset delay on some of my maps i've put mine to 30 seconds so that people ain't spamming to reset them every second every second but that's up to you on the type of map that you're making come all the way down to the last one when interacted with transmit on channel 150 now let's come over to our triggers, we have six of them. Now let's go underneath here, let's copy this and move it over a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's partially in the other one, that's how I do mine on my map. Then you're going to go into the settings, go all the way down, move the channel up by one. So this one's going to destroy when receiving from channel two. Then copy that one, move it over a little bit, place it, go into the settings, go down, move that one up another channel. So this one's channel three. Then copy that one and keep doing that for as many triggers as you have. Now let me explain to you what's going to happen. I'm going to hit this button and when I do, it's going to interact on channel 150. So it's going to activate this sequencer that is also set to channel 150. Then it's going to activate this bottom trigger down here and it will send a signal to the device that we set to channel 1. And then that device will destroy the builds.
so you can keep resetting the build as long as you have enough triggers and enough devices. Now let's make sure you got all that. You'll just come over here, bring you up a trigger, bring up the next trigger, then go into the settings, go over to channels, go up two on the top one, go up two on the bottom one. Come to the left side, go up two on the top one, go up two on the bottom one. Grab you another trigger, bring it up. Grab you one on the right side, bring it up. And the same exact thing. Every single one will be another build reset. But remember, you'll have to come back under here and put you another one of these, go into it, then move that channel up one, and the next one, and the next one. Make sure you keep these in the center of your platform. Also, make sure that your whole setup here is nowhere close to that because that device will blow this up and this will not work. So I suggest moving that way off to the side of the map. And also, one more thing that we already talked about that I want to show you one more time because if you mess this up your whole operation will not work the first trigger that you put down is going to be enabled on game start and all the other ones after that are going to be disabled on game start but if you did it correctly as I told you by the time you got to this third one every time you copied it would have already been off but when you copy that first one the next one above it would still have been enabled so hopefully you didn't miss that in the steps if you didn't miss it you're 100 percent good here's a look at how my map looked after i was done these are all of the build resets that i put i think i have a total of 90 there i just put them out here to the side of the map just like i said i have my trigger over there to the side of the platform i was building a bhe type map and here is all of my explosive devices looking like a cake of explosives like that actually looks kind of crazy so i'm just going to come out here and spam some builds and just show y'all and now when you assign your trigger it'll give you the option to write text in there and mine i just put resets builds and it has a little delay and bam now if you try to reset again right after it won't work it's every 30 seconds on my map this way people aren't spamming it and also I didn't have to put an endless amount of triggers I put about 80 and I have a 45 minute timer so there's plenty enough for the whole game now if you're curious what the heck is this map you got here it's a map I made called the rift it's basically a fighting map with a hub so you can get all your weapons in here you can't even swing your pickaxe nobody's gonna hit you and and when you're ready to fight, you go through the rift. If it's a map you might like to try, there's the code. And there you have it, guys. That's how you do a build reset in creative. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you ain't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. Also, if y'all need any other tips about creative maps, please write it down in the comments. And I would love to make a video for y'all.